Hey twins, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot and I'm coming to you guys with another energy update for those of you guys who find yourself on a twin flame journey. This message can certainly hit home for you. If it does resonate, uh, please do show me some love, show me some support, like, share, co comment, and subscribe. Um, I also have a main channel called Serendipity Tarot where I do love readings as well for the zodiac signs. But, um, you know, this is for my twins out there. You guys are special. So I'm going to channel some messages for you guys. I have tarot, I have some oracle cards, and we're just going to go and do it. All right. I don't have any particular format. Y'all know I just, you know, just pull out cards and um, yeah, no spread in particular. So I'm going to start off. I have a Halloween theme going on, you guys. <laughs> um, this Oracle deck is called the Halloween Oracle. Okay. So let's see what messages we have. We'll be in October before you know it. <laughs> Can y'all believe it? Can y'all believe it? Okay. All right, first out, we have the forgiveness card, okay? Forgiveness. It says reclaiming, I'm sorry, reducing burden. Okay, so we have the energy of your person wanting to be forgiven for something they've done. And by being forgiven, forgiven okay, by being um, apologetic, showing forgiveness, you know, there's the energy of your person... So we have the forgiveness card, reducing burden, okay? So some of you guys are dealing with your twin. Someone here wants forgiveness, okay? They may want to come to you with an apology. They may want to say, I'm sorry for something they've done. Uh, we have a flower energy. So there's something here that is changing, blossoming in their energy. And it's telling me now they are apologetic, right? They feel bad for something they've done. And it's telling me by apologizing for something they've done, they're reducing the burden. They're letting go of a burden that they're carrying. So I I feel like they're recognizing that they did something here um they have a lot of heavy weight okay because they feel like they've done something wrong they've caused some damage and therefore there's the energy of wanting to reduce the burden wanting to reduce um that guilt you know that guilt guilt you know guilt is um something difficult to deal with you know and it's something that may be creating burden so now they're wanting forgiveness okay let's see any of the messages we have joy rejoicing in the present so i think you guys are definitely finding happiness right now um especially if you're in separation you know it, you guys may be trying to switch gear and trying to find the joy and happiness um in life right now right that could be something that you're struggling with or it could be a challenge but that is something that you guys are having to having to challenge yourself to do right you know this is obviously not something you want to be on you don't really want to be on this twin flame journey right in separation from your person but you're having to find the happiness um or the joy the blessing okay um in life right now and there may be something here that you're grateful for find it and we have the changing of seasons some of you guys maybe you really enjoy the holidays you maybe you really enjoy like you know thanksgiving we have christmas we have halloween coming up there's something changing in the air and you could be finding joy within that okay we have invisibility, okay, invisibility. So this is what your um, your person's energy is, okay? They're wanting to be invisible, right? We have the energy of not wanting to be seen. Um, it says authenticity. So you're dealing with someone who was very inauthentic, okay? I feel like you're dealing with someone who kind of wore a false mask. They didn't want to be seen. They could be ashamed of something that they've done, and therefore they're kind of hiding. So some of you guys, you're not communicating with your person um, because they don't want it, they don't want to be seen. They're afraid of something they may be afraid to talk to you they may be afraid to um you know fets confess for something here that they've done and so there's the energy of now them hiding not wanting to be seen and i feel like this is someone who may have a tendency to do that they they may not share much of themselves they may you know walk around or go into connections and relationships where they're kind of like have one foot in one foot out right they're not really being their authentic self they're not being true and genuine they may put up a, a put on a front here okay for you and give the impression that they're one way but they're whole different person right so i feel like some of you guys you may have gotten deceived by this person because they weren't really true and genuine um okay so very inauthentic and invisible they want to be invisible now but this invisible energy it's really about your person kind of wanting to withdraw and they may be wanting to withdraw because they're recognizing there's something they've done right and now they don't want to be seen they don't want you to look at them they're feeling disgraceful okay 
Um, we have the death card, okay? The death card in tarot um, talks about endings, right? Change, transformation. It says the eternal cycle begins here. So cycle beginning, right? After an ending, there's some sort of beginning. So a lot of you guys are going through a death, okay? With this, um, with your twin right now. And what this death is bringing forth is a change, right? An awakening, transformation. We have the moth here, right? And it talks about change. And I'm seeing that, you know, Whatever your person was doing before, they're now having to change their ways, right? Toxic behavior, recklessness, violence, um, you know, them being invisible, inauthentic, untrue to who they were. There is that energy of them having to put that to rest, Put it to rest, right? Bury it in the ground and let it go. So there's change that's taking place. All right, we have the spider energy. We have trick or treat. Oops, cards are flying out. And we have the black cat. Okay, so spider. Um, it says community and web weaving. Um, so with the spider energy, I'm getting someone caught up, okay? This is like the... Um, I have a oracle deck with a spider and it talks about being caught up in the lie, a web of lies. And that's what I'm feeling again. I feel like this is someone here who may have gotten other people involved in a lie they told. We have the community web weaving. So I'm getting gossip. I'm getting gossip and rumors here. And I feel like your person may have, um, you know, said some things that weren't true, but also there could have been other people meddling in this connection, instigating, right? Spreading rumors that weren't true. And I'm getting this is someone who got caught up in a big web, a big weave of uh, a spider web here, okay? And it could have been lies and um, things that they told. So I feel like this is someone who's caught right now. They're, they're stuck, okay, in this web energy. And I feel like, yeah, there's definitely a lot of people, I feel like they may have had a part of this, okay? So some of you guys are dealing with and getting a third party. Could be family, could be friends as well, but there's a community of people this person has affected. It's what it's telling me. So it's not just what this person did to you they may have betrayed you and hurt you but i'm also seeing other people could have been a part of it other people may have not wanted you guys to be great together didn't want you guys to come together there also could be a third party that this person got involved with and it created drama it created some kind of mess here okay so we have trick or treat okay trick or treat is this mischief and play so you're dealing with someone who was playing some games for sure i'm getting like child's play right playground antics i'm getting um stringing you along you know you're dealing with someone here who had maybe some mind games here and i feel that you got to a point where you wanted this person to be serious um maybe initially it, you know you played along with it but now i'm getting the energy that you felt played by this person you you felt this person played you or took advantage of you you know so there's the energy of being trick being fooled by this person, I feel like they deceived you, okay, there's some mischief, I feel like this person, again, not true to who they said they were initially, I feel like this person may have led you on to thinking they were one way, um, but they wasn't, okay, so we have some deception, black cat, it says fortune meets opportunity, wow, so the black cat, if you think about, um, <laughs> I have a manifestation workbook on my Etsy um, shop, but the black cat candle, if you guys are familiar with the black cat vigil candle, it's all about good luck, good luck, prosperity, whether it be um, fortune, love, right, romance, career, okay, health, the black cat is, is typically a blessing, an opportunity that's presented, okay, um, and it's telling me that Initially, you know, a lot of you guys, you saw this, you saw this breakup, the separation as like the worst thing in the world, right? You were devastated. It was horrific to have to go through. It was pretty traumatic. But we have, we have an opportunity that's being presented. Some of you guys, I feel with the black hat, you are strengthening your intuition. There's something here that you're learning a lot about yourself, your spirituality. There's an awakening coming in. There's also opportunity that's being presented to you. Some of you guys are learning about your spiritual gifts and how you can utilize it, how you can help other people. So I think that there's something here where um, you, you, there's some kind of unfortunate situation okay that happened in your life regarding this person but there's an opportunity that's now being presented there's doors opening up for you guys okay and you may not see it initially okay all right let's see what else we have we have the skull of light we have the skeleton and let's get one more 
we have the winter, okay? All right, so illumination. So illumination talks about something here being illuminated, revealed um, with the skull, okay? The light, light brings in truth, light brings in clarity. I feel like there's something that you've been wanting clarity about why this all happened, why this person may have ran away, why they abandoned you, why did they treat you so bad? And a lot of you guys, you've not gotten the clarity from this person because I'm getting, when you wanted clarity, this person decided to just be invisible, right? They may have silenced you. They may have ghosted you. They may have all of a sudden disappeared. So we have someone here who didn't want to deal with something here. Once everything started to make a turn for the worse, once, you know, maybe you guys initially break up and it may have been temporary. I feel like this person just decided to just disappear. They didn't want to deal with the connection anymore. This is someone who may have been um, non-confrontational or they didn't want to deal with the drama and I feel like there's something here that you you never got the clarity as to why something happened this person never gave you the truth never gave you insight as to why something went down the way it did and so we have the skull of light so a lot of you guys there's something here that is being illuminated to you about why this all happened and the reason why you've not been able to get the closure you need or moved on from this person is because you haven't gotten the illumination you haven't gotten clarity and that is what's kept you stuck that's what's kept you stuck and unable to move on and constantly reliving this pain uh the hurt of this ending okay so we have the skeleton energy okay the skeleton is strength leo energy some of you guys are done with a leo i feel like there's this is about you a lot of you guys are stronger than you think you don't even know how strong you are until some of you guys, you didn't realize how strong you were until you went through this situation, until you went through this breakup, until you met your twin flame. You guys are, I mean, I'm getting very thick skin because what you've gone through has really helped you develop your character, your inner strength, right? Um, and I feel like this is something here that it could be a lesson on how to, um, you know, learning about yourself, strengthening your, um, strengthening your character, making good decisions, right? Um, so that's you. I feel like the strength card is really about you being strong through all this, not giving up, persevering, enduring a lot of pain, right? You went through a lot. You endured a lot of pain and hurt. And, um, you know, you hit your rock bottom. You guys hit the very lowest point in your life, but you didn't give up, right? You did not give up. So we have the winter, there's something here that's happening in the winter, okay? I'm going to have to clarify this, but it says the sacredness of pausing. So there may be a pause in the winter time. I know you guys don't want to hear that, where you guys are isolating yourself. You're going within. You're not speaking maybe to your person, your twin right now. Um, but there's a pause. But it's telling me this is a sacred pause. So it's telling me that there may be a spiritual time. Um, there may be something you're embarking on in the winter time. I want to say November, December, January, where it's going to be very sacred. It's going to be a time for you to really connect with yourself, your um, inner guides, your spiritual guides, right? Maybe you're doing a lot of meditation, um, a lot of spiritual practices. You're learning a lot about yourself. So, you know, be prepared for that in the winter time. Let's see what other messages we have. I'm going to get this deck from the Karmic Consequences. This is from the Oracle Mystique, the Avatar High Priestess. Okay, we have Heartbreak here, okay. Um, we have Never Finding Love This Lifetime. <laughs> um, strung Along, Strung Along. Um, what's this? Downgrade, Okay. And we have repeating this lifetime. Okay, so this heartbreak card, it's like the three of swords, right? Heartbreak, this is what um, you guys are going through right now. There's a lot of heartbreak, but I feel like you both are hurt. And I know you guys don't want to hear this like, oh, my person ain't hurt because they hurt me. You guys are both experiencing some degree of hurt, okay? Emotional pain, loss, severing ties. There's heartbreak here. And even if your person didn't come across as a very emotional person, I do feel... They're, they're in this place of hurt. Now, what I'm also seeing is that, you know, your person, um, we have never finding love this lifetime. I feel like now they're giving up on, on love. Now they're giving up. They feel as if now that they push someone that was really good to them away, they're feeling like, well, I'm never going to find the right person. And you guys could be feeling the same way. A lot of these feelings could be something you both are feeling at the same time. Okay, as twins. So they feel like they're never going to find love again. They're very um, pessimistic about love. Some of you guys, you know, I feel 
this is just how they, they look at life. They feel nothing good happens for them, right? That black cat energy, you know, they never feel like any good fortune comes to them. And they're a little bit nonchalant about love in general. They may not believe in love. They may not think about or, or uh, you know, think about that whole fairy tale. They don't believe in magic, you know what I mean? Like they don't believe in that whole fairy tale love and love at first sight. So I'm getting the energy that they went through this heartbreak now. And now they've given up completely on love, okay, on romance in general. Um, we have strung along, so this is how you guys feel. We have illumination here. You guys are getting more clear that this person strung you along for a very long time. And you may have had the ability to change that. But again, that there's a lesson learned, right? You felt you may have hit inclinations that this person was playing you, wasn't taking you serious, but you kind of just went with it. Maybe just said, you know what, I'll give it some more time. And it got to a point where the light bulb went off. This person just is not taking me seriously. And they're just holding on to me. And they have no real good intentions for me, right? So um, strung along is yeah, what this person did. We have the downgrade card. I feel like this is someone who, um, you know, they may feel like a downgrade now, okay? This is someone, I feel like some of you guys, you may even have um, dated other people, all right? And you're recognizing and seeing how you are attracting a lot of good quality people. I mean, a lot of you guys, you're now dating on your level. I almost feel like you, you were dealing with someone here who was actually a downgrade. And you're like wondering, why am I still attached to the hip for this person? Why do I want this person so bad? They didn't even have much to offer. Some of you guys, it wasn't even like they really had a lot of financial security. They may have had an awful job. They may have had, um, you know, horrible ties with their family. Or, you know, there's something here that, you know, they were actually a downgrade. But you still fell in love with them. They may have not even been the most attractive person. You know what I mean? But you still love them. <laughs> and you know and so I feel that just goes to say that this person wasn't all in a bag of chips you know but you still cared for them you loved them and you know you you had that strong soul connection we also have repeating this lifetime so I do feel like you know those cycles okay some of you guys your person got caught up in a karmic cycle okay and I'm getting the energy that your person is now having to repeat this cycle again why? Because they're making the same mistakes over and over and over, right? They end up getting in the connection, they string people along, they play games, they act invisible, right? They don't have any emotions um, or they don't show emotions, they're not vulnerable. And then, you know, they sabotage, they hurt people, and then they're going to have to repeat this. They're doing the same thing over and over and over. I feel like this is a repeating cycle for your person. And it's repeating because your person is not learning the lesson. So that is why it's so incredibly important for you guys to learn the lesson, okay? Doesn't mean you're never gonna come back with your twin, but learn a lesson. What are you having to learn? Stand up for yourself, right? Um, practice self-love. Know that there's no greater love than your own love that you have for yourself, right? So there's there's a lot of lessons here, but I think that your person is the one who's not learning them, <laughs> okay? Um, let me get some cards from the Epiphany. Clear messages for my twins out there, please. This deck is available on my Etsy shop for those of you guys who are interested. We have we're waiting, uh, waiting for this union. So there's the energy of waiting for a reunion, waiting for an, a time to come together, waiting to reconcile, okay? So there is an energy of wanting to reconcile here, okay? After a period of separation between you and your person, that is something you guys are waiting for as well as your person. We have no more bad decisions. So I feel like your person's recognizing, realizing that they they can't keep making bad decisions over and over, right? And not only that, but we have them not wanting to make bad decisions and now wanting to be forgiven for the bad decisions that they've made, right? Because they want to let go of the burden. They want to let go of that guilt <laughs> that they're carrying. I also feel like these bad decisions had to do with other people, right? They let other people... Um,